In today's tutorial, I am going to show you how to make A4 size portrait certificate design in PowerPoint. As you can see here, I have put the title as a certificate of achievement along with the shadow effect here. And here I have put one blue ribbon along with the golden stripes, a gold medal with the star sign. And here you can just replace your name first and the last name and a detailed text also can be replaced here and at the bottom you can add the date and signature of the certificate and i'm going to explain you how you can convert this into a pdf format which can be printed in a4 size paper so let's see how to do this in powerpoint add a new slide go to design slide size select custom slide size and from the drop down select a4 size paper orientation change from landscape to portrait and click on ok it asks you two option ensure fit and maximize you can select any of the option and click ok and then go to view enable the guides and i'm going to add the margins to add the margins click on the slide master you can see here so in the slide master right mouse click grid and guides i'm just going to add vertical guide you can see a one vertical guide added i'm going to put it on the left margin you can see here and again right mouse click again i'm going to add one more vertical guide and put it to the right side you can see here then i'm going to add two more for the top and bottom right mouse click add horizontal guide you can see here added one and one more time add horizontal and then just drag this one bottom you can see here and once this is done just click the close button so you can see here we have got the the margins go to insert shapes and from rectangle i'm going to select the rectangle draw the rectangle maybe this much size you can see here just move it a little bit up and shape outline make it no outline and then i'm going to right mouse click go to format shape and i'm going to select the gradient fill here so by default four step stops are there so i'm just going to delete one stop and you can use any good colors here for example first of all the type should be linear and the direction you can just select any direction like this so the first one i'm going to use some blue color you can go and choose some good blue colors from here whichever color you like for example i'm just giving a temporary this blue color and here also i'm going to give the same blue color and here i'm going to give some lighter color here you can see here so this is the one gradient fill i have put it here now if you feel that this blue is very uh, bright we can just change it so if you want you can change the colors also let me just change some colors maybe i can use some light this blue color and here also i can just go and change it to somewhat lighter color so it looks something like this then go to insert shapes i'm going to select this rectangle draw the rectangle and make it fully curved you can see here and shape outline you can increase the size maybe six points or eight points you can go here also line and increase to eight points also and then reduce the size you can see here something like this this much and put it exactly in the center and for this i'm going to use some gold colors so first of all shape fill you can give some dark color here and here i'm going to use for the lines you can see here the line i'm going to use some gradient fill for this i'm going to use maybe two stops let's see here first stop i'm going to choose some gold color here you can see a one brown color one light color here and one more dark color here so it looks something like this and for this go to the effects from the 3d format i'm just going to select the round okay and before that one we can add we need to add the background we have to change the color for that let me just go to insert shapes select the rectangle i'm going to 
cover the slide you can see a shape outline make it no outline and shape fill you can give any dark colors here something like this and then send this to back so you can see here it looks something like this and then i need to add the ribbon and with a middle so go to insert shapes from the rectangles i'm going to select this one which is rectangle top corners rounded draw small size maybe this much and you can see here the two orange point select the bottom orange point and drag it inside and the top one drag it outside so you end up getting this shape and then just put it exactly in the center and just move it somewhat up and for this also i'm going to select this color gradient so i'm going to select this go to home and format painter and click on this the only thing is you need to change the direction from something like this you can see here and make sure that it is more darker here so i'm just going to add one more stop and for this one more colors you can increase the size uh, sorry the shade and click ok so you can see it more darker here and if you want you can do somewhat darker at the bottom also the same color you can use so something like this it will look now i'm going to add uh, three or four golden stripes for that go to insert shapes select the rectangle draw the rectangle you can see here uh, this much size shape outline make it no outline and you can give a kind of a light color here let me just zoom in and i'm just going to make sure that this one is not going outside of the and then i'm going to put it here exactly in the center one press ctrl d to add one more towards the right and press ctrl d one more add one more at the left so you can see here i've got three stripes so i'm just going to select all these three stripes go to format align make sure it stop press ctrl g to group it and then you can give the gradient fill here again gradient fill here uh, this is the old one which is there so i'm just going to delete this the first stop i'm going to make it somewhat darker color here you can see here and bottom also let me just delete this and this also a darker color and in the center i'm going to make more lighter color here you can see here so if you want more darker color again you can add one more here go to more colors and you can make it more darker also so it looks something like this and for this side also i can add one more darker color here so the next step is to add the middle let me just go to insert shapes and i'm going to select this one you can see here either 10 or 12 points so this one and just hold the shift key you can make it something like this you can see here put it exactly in the center something like this shape outline make it or let it be outline i'm going to give some golden color here and this also i'm going to fill this with golden color let me just select the gradient fill here so you can see here and then the direction linear and i'm going to make it something like this if you want you can just remove one darker color also here we don't need darker colors so it looks something like this the golden and the line you just increase the width you can see here and go to effects give the 3d effect here you can see here go to top bevel and you can just select this one so it looks something like this and this top bevel also you can just reduce the width so it looks something like this and then i'm going to add one a rectangle sorry a, a oval shape go to insert shapes i'm going to select one oval shape or i can just select this only you can see here press ctrl d to duplicate go to format edit shape and change the shape to the oval shape and give height and width as maybe 0.6 this also 0.6 and shape fill make it no fill and then the you can see here let me just go to the lines and reduce the width hold the shift key 
or you can just drag it something like this reduce the size further by holding the shift key and you can just maybe further i can reduce it again reduce the width more you can see here and then just send this to back let me just bring it down this also something like this here now once this is done you can just go to insert shapes select one rectangle draw a rectangle smaller size shape outline make it no outline and give the same golden color here maybe this color i'll give and move this up and then send this to back so if i see here it looks something like this let me just remove the guides for a meantime so you can see here our shape looks something like this now it's time to add the text and if you like you can add one more shape here let me just zoom in once again you can go to insert shapes and from the stars i'm going to select the stars which is 12 points you can see here drag the star by holding the shift key and then you can drag this orange point down so you can see here exactly put it in the center shape outline make it the golden color and shape fill make it no fill and this transparency i can increase the transparency something like this so you can see here it looks more elegant and more professional also and then let's add the text go to insert text box and i'll say certificate font i'm going to change to century gothic center align make white size let me just enable the guides one more time and then increase the size make it bold also you can see here so this is certificate make sure that it is touching the margins and then go to insert add one more text box i'll just say of achievement okay this is also center align the same font and make sure that again this is also center properly so you got the text and if you want you can add one more shadow also so now i'm going to add the shadow for this shape let me just select this and go to the shadow and i can give this the bottom shadow increase the width something like this and for this also you can give the same shadow now one more text which i'm going to copy i can just Control d to duplicate this home reduce the size i will just say this certificate is presented to you can see here and then i'm going to copy this press ctrl d bring it here first and last name i can say first and last name you can see here and then here you can add the detailed text so i'm going to say let me just select equals lorem within bracket one font i'm going to make it light gray center align the same century gothic reduce the size you can see here you can add some detailed text and for this both the text you can go to text option and increase the transparency level so it looks uh, this one less lighter color and then bottom you can add the signature and the date now i'm going to add the date so text box just add the date here and the same font century gothic or any font of your choice and make it gray color reduce the size center align you can see here and then go to insert shapes select one line i'm going to put it on the top of the date hold the shift key you can see here give the same gray color line 
and select both of these press ctrl g to group it ctrl d to duplicate it bring the other side and change this one to signature you can see here so almost our design is ready you can just uh, print it now how to print it go to file you can just say save as you can see here either you can go to this option and select a pdf file just click on the pdf file and just click the save button so it will convert into a pdf file and this can be printed to the a4 size paper that's it from me friends thank you for watching my youtube channel and don't forget to subscribe powerpoint university see you soon with more interesting stuff till then goodbye